I want to talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite mushrooms, lion's mane. And um, lion's mane has one of the highest beta-glucan contents of all the mushrooms. And as we've discussed, beta-glucans are very important for helping to improve immune system health. But there's some other very unique compounds in the lion's mane mushroom. Um, there's ericinones and hericinones and others that are even more difficult to pronounce, which we have discovered actually benefit the brain and benefit um, the nerves and nerve growth. There's nerve growth factor is one of the, the molecules that these, that these molecules from the lion's mane stimulate, which help with the repair of damaged tissue. They're exploring the value of these in human diseases, such as Alzheimer's, and it's possible that they could also apply to, to um, pet diseases, canine diseases like degenerative myelopathy. We just don't have that research information yet. But what I want to share with you something really interesting about the lion's mane. And I, I've got a sample here because we're planning on eating this for dinner tonight and it's very, very tasty. But look at it. Looks like a brain, doesn't it? You know, the ancients, when they were trying to figure out what herbs and what mushrooms to use for what conditions, they looked at how they looked at its appearance and they applied something they called the doctrine of signatures, which means that if a mushroom or a plant looks like a body part, that it might be good to treat that body part if it gets diseased. And you know, lo and behold, yes, this brain like looking mushroom, in fact, is good for the brain. And I've got another mushroom I'll talk about in a bit called chaga. Similar thing, not the brain, but a similar doctrine of signatures that's very obvious with chaga. So um, this there's a condition that pets get when they get older, and so do some of us as we get older, It's in which they have some issues with their cognitive function. Now, we sometimes call it sen uh, geriatric senility or even dementia. We call it canine cognitive disorder. It's kinder, really, CCD. And there is some evidence from pet parents and some veterinarians who have been using lion's mane that it may actually have a benefit in a, in a, in a multifactorial program to address this problem, you know, in these older pets. We're looking forward to seeing if we can get some, some research going in that area because this is a problem. You know, once our pets get older, they're beloved members of our family and for them to be not really present and still there is is heartbreaking. So anyway, if you like these videos, hey, subscribe, right? And if you've got questions or want to tell me about your successful use of lion's mane for your own dog, please use the comment section. Coming up next, I'm going to give you a little discussion regarding turkey tail, which has become probably the single most popular mushroom in our pets. Stay tuned.